Hey guys, Sarah here from Southpaw Planning and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to click on my little thumbnail and give my video a watch. So if you guys, you guys know that I'm in a Wonderland 222 planner and a Wonderland 222 notebook. I use the planner, well, I use the planner because it allows me to future date ahead. And I use the notebook to plan my every day. So, so I set up my weeks and I'm able to plan out um, my day. But lately, I haven't been using the, the uh, Wonderland 2-2 planner. I have been switching to rings, A5 rings. And that is what this video is about. It is about my new planner, um, what my planner lineup is going to be for the rest of the year. I'm going to uh, stay in my Wonderland 222 notebook until the end of my pages, which is soon. So I'm guessing about August, I will be doing a full um, setup again. I'll be doing a setup for, and I didn't buy the uh, the notebook, the Wonderland notebook. I bought the Stology just because I was able to get it so quickly, and. I think I paid 18 bucks for it on Amazon. It was just, um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just didn't think to go and onto uh, Wonderland and buy the, an, another notebook. So um, I'll be getting my Stology probably tomorrow. So that will give me some time to get that set up. But here is, and I'm still setting up my rings. Most of my rings, um, most of what I have set up um, is stuff that I've already have. So I have the Erin Condren A5 months and I think I had it with, like it came with my weekly, I think it was my weekly or daily. So I just removed the months and and kept those. So I'm able to do some future planning here. And uh, so yeah, I haven't gone, well, I've got a little bit of October coming along. But so that's, that's pretty much it. But also part of this planner is I set up a habit tracker. Now these these um, plastic frosted inserts come from Amazon and they came in a huge pack honestly. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. I mean there's a lot in there. So um, I created a habit tracker. If you follow me on Instagram, you uh, have seen my habit tracker. Now this was the rough draft that I have here where I had, um, I had the days of the week at the top. I removed those because honestly, when I got down to 30, I didn't have enough day. I didn't have enough boxes and there are, let's see, 31 through two. Three, there's 36 boxes here. So even if I was to start on a Saturday, I'm definitely not gonna have enough room if there are 31 days in a month. So I decided to take out all the boxes and it really leaves it completely um, undated. There's nothing that you have to worry about. So it looks like this now. Um, this is in my shop. You can get this bundle. Comes with the two inserts, the two dashboards here. This uh, dashboard here with the pink flower and this one with the purple flower. It comes with this page with the month at the top, the habits here, and then 
to double side it, it comes with it this side. So you have one side will be for this, or you can do your um, hole punching. And then the other one has all of the trackers on this side, but without the month. So you're able to put um, double sided. So that's super nice, right? So I did that. And then I'm also working on a 2023 planner. Um, this is just um, the months I plan on, and this is just a rough draft. I plan on doing 2024 on the back of it. And of course, adjusting the the color and stuff like that. The adjusting the color and stuff. Like this is this, uh, this uh, brown, and then the rest of this is black. I just I wanted to make sure that it was something that that I uh, that I like. And then I'm going to add the 2024 on the back. I'm also working on a goals section and a meal section. Now my meal section I used to have in my old Erin Contran books a family favorites page and this is from the old Erin Contra and I ripped it out and then I cut little pieces here so that I can rip this piece of paper out and put it back in if I need it. So I'm able to just rip it out. It's, like, it's kind of a pain in the butt so I don't take it out too often. But I want to add a family favorites to I have all these family favorites and I don't I don't think I look back on it at all. I know that we, we eat this one a lot, the Cajun chicken, the shepherd pie. We eat the one pot cheesy sausage pasta. I think it's the not the Cajun chicken, but it's the Cajun chicken pasta that we eat all the time. And then the one pot cheesy sausage. Cabbage roll soup, super yummy. I found a new creamy potato, um, a creamy potato soup. Oh, it's so good. I think I'm gonna scratch that this one out and do the new one over this one. But anyways, I wanna add that to this section here. So right now it's just some extra notes pages that I took out of that Erin Condren Weekly that I had. And then these are extra notes pages that I ripped out of probably one of like the notebook that I didn't finish or something like that. So these are just extra notes pages. And then this, I wanna, um, this is just extra stuff here in the back because I wanna add a personal health, a personal section that holds like my health and um, books. It's probably gonna be more, yeah, I wanna do book, uh, it's gonna hold my books and my health. And then these are just some extra pages here in the back that I have. And then I want to somehow get this to fit in here. I might have to cut this down a little bit because it's definitely not going to fit this way, right? I use these a lot for my future planning and I don't know if I actually stay in this purple one because I got this in the mail and I think I'm gonna have to put you guys on hold just for a second. All right, you guys, so I took all the wrapping off of it so it wasn't so loud on the camera. It's just a white version of the purple one. Um, that's it. It's got this magnetic clasp. Um, I get these on Amazon. They're like eight or nine bucks. They have all sorts of different sizes. Um, I think A6 and personal and uh, this is the A5, so I have this. I have this in black and in purple. And then I have also my, bought one for my daughter in pink. And the rings are not as big. They're not very big. I don't know if you can get like an idea of how big they are right here. Um, but I mean, I got quite a bit of papers and inserts in here, I feel like. Uh, it's not completely full, but I I don't have any problems um, open um, you know flipping pages right now. But again, I also don't have any of my goals pages in or my meal 
uh, my meals and cleaning, stuff like that. But I am trying to fill it up with the extra stuff here in the back just so that I can get um, a feel for how it will be when it's bulky. And then here on the side, I just have a couple of, um, I got these from Planner Kate a while ago and I'd never used them. And then I thought, you know what, I think I'm gonna use them to just kinda hold the dates here or just kinda flag the day. And I think they fit pretty nicely on here. And then I use these for, um, you know, like my period. You know, I, when I start stop when I start my period and stuff like that. And I just tuck them in here. And then I just have a couple of notes cards here that I, um, I actually keep it like that. So if I need to jot down anything, but I also have notes pages here in the back as well. And then I have a, a quick August calendar here and just a little quote card here on the side and they just fit nicely in there. But I got this, it has the two pin loops, two pin loops. So um, I thought I would just, you know, I could switch it up for, I don't know, anytime I want a white one. So I got that one and I figure they're so cheap. You know, it's not like I'm buying a $100 um, rings and stuff just to switch in and out. So this is my setup for this, for my rings. And then I guess I've, I think I've talked to you guys a little bit about this. This is an Erin Condren folio system. And right now I'm using it mostly for the my daily devotions here. So every day I come in here and I don't really decorate it, but I do like to use the different markers here at the top, kind of like what I use with my um, um, my days for my um, my Wonderland 222 notebook. <laughs> I've forgotten. Are you okay? Okay. Um, you know how I do here at the top. So I do that and then I started to read the books in the new chapter in the New Testament and I wanted to keep track of the chapters that I'm reading every day. I'm, a, I'm ahead because today is the 19th so I'm ahead because um, I read 20. So and I this these are in my shop you can pick this up. This is printed right now just on regular um, what 20 pound weight and this one in here is printed on a 32 pound weight paper. And it is just, like you could just see the difference in the color. And each, there's 12 months in the shop, in my shop. And um, so you could just see just the clarity in the, in the flowers. So there's 12 months, they're undated, and every month is different. So, can you tell I'm really great at? Remember when I, in a previous video, I had talked about how those chisel tips on the Erin Condren markers I have such a hard time writing with? Well, there you go. I have a hard time writing with them. So, but yeah, so there's 12 months. Each one is different color and yeah. So I just tip this in at the beginning of the month. So like here's July 1st and I started reading um, Matthew in July and I'll work my way. And then I'll go, once I'm done in July, I will print out one for August. And where are we? And then I will tip that in for August and start my new book. Uh, here is 
my gratitude journal that I, it is undated and I have not filled it out. This will be my new journal when I am done with, with my, um, B, my B5, A5, A5, when I'm done with my A5. So this is my personal journal. I don't want to show too much, but I used to do my daily devotions in here. So yeah. I used to do my daily devotions in here with my journaling, but then I just, I stopped doing that and now it's strictly journaling. And I just have, you know, a few more pages left. But at the rate I go, at the rate I journal, it's probably like maybe once or twice, maybe three times a month. I'll be in here probably for the rest of the year. And then I stuck my budget book in here so I can keep track of everything. I took out my wellness journal. It just wasn't working that great for um, how it was set up and how I was trying to set up. I felt like I was putting too much time in it. And so I'm going to set up some inserts in in here for my um, my physical wellness so that'll go in here and so yeah that is it so when everything's all stacked up this is my old um, leather cover I got this one off uh, I know I got off Etsy I can't remember who I got it from and they don't stamp their leather goods but um, yeah, so I've got this, and everything is in A5s. So here's my new planner lineup, you guys. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked this. If you did, hit that like button, and if you'd like to continue watching videos like this, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned, and I will see you guys on the next one. As always, stay healthy and stay safe. Bye, you guys.